Hello everybody and welcome back to the Outer Worlds where we're gonna level up really quick. Um, oh, is it to the point? Okay. I can't just level up melee. I can do individual. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Oh, come on. We'll put a couple into there. Uh, dialogue. Oh, actually, let's do, I can do Persuade on its own now. Oh wait, no, no. Okay. I didn't realize it was only, it was only doing the, like the section I was on, like reverting the one I was on. Okay. Let's do, and... Actually, there we go. Unlocked that. Um, oh, uh, apply. Sure, looks good. Perk. I don't really have any science damage weapons, but I would like some. Hmm. Let's do that. What did we get ourselves into? Okay, there's that, a faction quest, but I, I wanna try the empty man. If we can find it, yep, it's outside. I still need to explore around a little. Let's see. Let us see the south west you know kind of I mean this town looks better than wait is this the Emporium well well the only new folk I ever see in town are sublight runners from Fallbrook but you don't look like one of Catherine's what can I get you sublights that like salvage operation that was up on groundbreaker uh, do I have? All sales are final, unless you threaten me. I'm kidding. Don't threaten I'm me. I'm kidding. Ah. Oh dang, she's got a, she's got a lot of stuff. Ooh, ooh. A shovel, a spade. Okay. Um. Do I have, like, junk? Yeah, so, oh, no, wait, wait. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. You're doing great. I just wanna make sure I don't miss too much in town. I think all this- Help! Someone's been oh, killed! Oh, oh, what? I think I'm gonna be sick. I just, you just, you just, I just happened to walk by. <laughs> that, that was, that was uh, scripted, I know, but still, it's like, I was like, I just wanna make sure I don't miss anything, and then bam, murder. Uh, uh, what, tell me, pull yourself together and tell me what happened. I clean the apartments while everyone's at work. I've seen all sorts of messes, but this. If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body. That's where I'll go then. Excellent. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. Contemplate only because you don't you don't actually have one, so you just if you feel dirty, you just gotta contemplate a hot shower. Okay, to the right. Mm -hmm. oh! Oh, sorry, sorry. Just spooked me. It was all. Okay. What a gruesome way to die. Looks like you got beat to death. Dang. 
Uh, okay. A, la a lamp and some cereal and a trash can. I'm in- I'm investigating, I'm investigating. Hey, look. A mag pit. Oh, hey. <laughs> Let's examine this. The betting slip lists some increasingly bold- lists some increasingly bold wagers made for a team called Mostly Colonists from left left field toss ball betting. Okay, so you got beat to death with the toss ball bat. Hmm. Let's see. Is that it? That's the only clue? I mean, I guess, uh, well... Yeah, why not? He doesn't need it anymore! You got drinking? Okay, hang on. Let me select the journal. Um, stainless steel rat. I found a bedding slip. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else. Oh, examine. Several ragged outfits, all the same cut and color, were stuffed into the suitcase. So somebody was trying to escape. They, they knew they were in trouble and were trying to get out. It looks like they just were on the wrong side of a betting ring. But, you never know. Look at that! <laughs> it's so tiny. Oh god, what do I want to do? There's so many things to do now. Um... Oh, sure. It's kind of in an area I want to explore anyway, so. I mean, honestly, I think, that, I think if they got back with the board, like, things wouldn't get any better because a lot of the board-sponsored stuff has been, like, falling apart anyway, right? Like, Edgewater is, like, still part of the board, but it's falling apart and they're not giving it any re- they're not giving it many resources anyway. You know? Very little. Goes. I'm just looking around. Like, like, um... Constable, yo, I got a murder! I got a murder to report to you! Maybe it'll open up later. What's this? Communication relay? Let me poke the buttons! It looks like the communication relay from, uh, Rosewater or whatever it was. Okay. Alright. Cool. I'll just go back out to the place I'm supposed to be in. However one gets through here. Oh, hey. Does this have a sign? Left field toss ball betting. Yo. Ooh, you're the new face. Wow, you must be up on all the latest toss ball games. Uh-huh. So who do you follow? Wait, don't tell me. You look like a Hammersmith Thunder fan. No, Glacial Age Mammoths. Uh, live 45. Uh, sure, I play for Auntie Cleo's Darlings. Don't you recognize me? I'd heard they'd gotten a new hacker. Is that why everyone's making such a fuss about you? <laughs> but what are you doing on Mama? Oh, jeez. This is part of the Goodwill Tour of Halcyon. We're meeting our fans across the colony. <laughs> Maybe we're not so isolated as I thought. This will help me get in, right? So, what can I do? That's what for I'm you? hoping. I'm smooth, smooth talker. Gonna get more info. You said you were having trouble receiving the toss ball game transmissions. I didn't hear that. Graham's always filling the airwaves with this propaganda. Ah, like it's done him any good. All it means is the toss ball games get to us in fragments. Makes them real hard to watch. You gotta have like some entertainment, right? Like it's not fair to just like keep you know spamming the airwaves with your with your good or bad propaganda i guess you know like have like a dedicated time to do it and then let other transmissions come in and out anyway i found a <laughs> dead man's stuff in his apartment and anything happened to him poor isaac i was wondering why i hadn't seen him in a few are days. you lying to me i'd really like to help isaac was a sweet fellow even if he did have terrible teeth. Is that- is that his- it's not his fault? What do his teeth have to do with anything? They were pretty distinct. Monarch doesn't exactly have a thriving dental industry, and Isaac seemed to get stuck in all sorts of bad habits. 
dietary and otherwise. Ah. Sometimes he'd drink Purpleberry Punch by the leader. Other times he'd keep betting on a losing team. Started owing the wrong people money. So he drank a lot of soda, wore his teeth out, and also bet on losing teams. Who did he owe? I don't know for sure, but I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. Ah. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. Loiter. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of I them. I feel like killing people who owe you money is a, is a bad way to get money. You know? Like, how are they supposed to pay you back? I mean, I guess you could take their stuff and sell it, but in situations like this, like, there's not a lot of money to be had by selling someone's, like, raggedy old clothes and stuff, you know? Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. Sanjar makes me uncomfortable. I'm not doing this for him. I'm doing it because I guess it's the right thing to do. Like, some guy's just laying in there in his apartment, and nobody's doing anything about it, so... I have to do something about it. And I can't even go into the constable's office and tell the constable. Unless there's another door? I don't think so. Oh. Okay, let's go up here. Going through the roof access. Assassin's Creed! It just feels like Assassin's Creed all of a sudden. Let's go! Oh man, it's only this building. I'm sad. Can I walk on the, uh, probably not. Nope. Oh, yep, that was ouch, that was ouch. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna go find... They have birds twittering away in the non-existent trees. We did see, we did see... I bought some musk from Sebastian to cover up the saltiness. Oh, gross. Trust me, this is worse. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to smell like a raptor on. Oh. Um, you could have ocean going birds cuz or water birds cuz they do have They do have water birds. What are the chances of all the times and places we could have been born? Yeah. No. We're here, light years from Earth, going about our lives. Every time the punch clock peels, a worker earns his meals. What are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were quoting. It's a wonderful directorate. A wonderful directorate? Oh my gosh. No, he's talking about like, you know, what are the odds of like, you know, I don't know. Like having that existential moment of like, we're a, like, I'm alive at this moment in time. And so are you. And like, just like these two things that have come together at this time like what are the odds right you know of like being alive at this particular moment in time like i don't i'm not going to be very eloquent about it because i'm very bad at being eloquent while playing the video game but but i get it i get kind of what he was going for rap musk and canid eyes right here eh, no thanks how do you get behind Please, will someone help me? My boy's in trouble. Uh, th 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 there's guards right there. Do they not? What do you guys? What do you guys even do? Also, give me your gun. Fresh blood at last. Cellar vacant. Uh, why are you so creepy about newcomers? Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Is it a grown man who's gone out you, of his own volition? You have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. Did you ever think maybe you're like, I'm I'm anticipating it's potentially, he, she's just very like, like not clingy, but like, um, wraps him all up in gauze and wool to like keep him all safe and sound and he finally got sick of it, just of being smothered. That's what it is. Calm down, take a deep breath and tell me what happened. Don't you tell me to calm down. I promised my boy uh -huh. to protect him for always. But how can I keep him safe if he's run away? Well, that's not really your he fault. He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs, and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools, and poisonous plants. But he didn't listen. Oh, law, Captain. 
A youngster won't last long in a place like this. Please, can't we help? Okay. Please, won't you go and find my boy? Yeah, I, I got you. Why would Tucker run away? He's been pining I knew for an it. adventure. Says he's tired of living uh -huh, uh -huh. Up behind the walls. But he doesn't understand how dangerous it is out there. I warned him. A raptodon would snap him up first chance it got. I just know one's ripped his arm off and is gnawing on his sweet little fingers. Oh, jeez. He should have listened to his mama. I promised I'd keep him safe here with me. Where would he have gone? He's been listening to those awful broadcasts that the iconoclasts put out. I begged Sanjar to put a stop to them, but did he? No. And now I just know my boys run off to Amber Heights. That is, if a Manta Queen hasn't spooled out and eaten his entrails for breakfast already. I feel like you're just making this worse for yourself. What are you saying about iconoclasts? Those low-life degenerates leading innocent boys into a life of mm. danger. Oh, they make it sound so exciting. Like it's noble to risk it all out there fighting for the greater good. Mm -hmm. How noble is it to worry your loved ones? Not at all, I say. Oh, my ears but hurt. Still they preach their sermons of anarchy <laughs> and rebellion to anyone who'll listen. <sighs> if they weren't holed up in Amber Heights, I'd knock them all upside down. Her head. voice is perfect for this. Uh, where is it? That old settlement, southwest of Stellar Bay. Well, I need to go there anyway. I don't know which is worse. The thought of my son shacking up with a nutty iconic Shacking up. Or that he never made it. Sprats could be nesting in his rotting body alongside the road as we speak. Mm. Or or maybe Marauders got him, pulled all his teeth out, uh. pushed him into their drugs, ah. and snort him. Oh, the things that could happen to my sweet baby. Uh, oh, jeez, oh, lady. I got the actual, my spine just did like a whole shiver. Like, that was nasty. All right, okay. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. He's probably dead. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, nah. you punch them in the mouth. Mm. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. I mean, is he a... I feel like he's probably a full-grown man. Maybe not. He might He might be an actual kid who's got, like, dreams of idealism and stuff. Who the fuck are you? Yeah. This ain't your alley. For, uh, I, I, I just, I'm just here to talk. Hey, what are you doing here? This is our secret it's alley. It's a terrible secret alley. Berta already pissed by those crates to mine. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> I know you married Isaac! Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business. It's about to be my business. Yeah, I'm making it my business. Oh yeah? What are you saying exactly? I'm, I'm making it my business. Intimidate. You bully people long enough, if you know it's good for you, I'll clear out and never come back, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I don't want to leave more bodies in the streets. Well, I don't know. Should I just kill him? Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's like a life for a life kind of thing, I guess. I don't know. I think I'll just make things worse in town. You're not really supposed to go around murdering people in town, you know? But, like, letting hooligans like this go out and, like, beat people up and kill them for tossball bets is not great either. The moral conundrum. Uh, just clear out. Wow. Most of the pencil pushers around here cave as soon as you look at them funny. Fine. We're going. This ain't worth it. I, I'm a pencil pusher in a massive suit of armor. Like, I have science training, yes, but well, I'm in a massive suit of armor. You you silly... Si Ooh. Oh, it's a flamethrower. I have one. You silly, silly person. Why can't this is their stuff? I want to take it. All right, bye, nerds. That's rude. They're not nerds. Nerds are better than the. Oh, okay, she's chilling. She's chilling. I had a question about your plan, Mr. Vicker. Of course. 
the cosmos is generated and directed by the universal equation, mm -hmm. also known as the grand plan. By contemplating the teleological order of things, one can achieve verity. Could you talk like a normal person? Oh, um, right. You had a question? Never mind. That about answers it. Yeah, he's uh, apparently, for being a pastor, like preacher type guy, he's not very good at making it so that the masses can understand what he's saying. Although, to be fair, at least what I know of Catholicism back in the day, anyway, um, you know, that's why it was a big deal when the Bible was translated into like a, a language that people could, because it, it was all in like Latin. I'm pretty sure it was all in like Latin, a dead language. So only the priests and stuff could read it, and they could just be like telling Hootenanny for all anybody know, anybody knew, you know? Um... That wasn't the case necessarily. I bet you some. Well, I think part of the problem. And I'm like turning around to talk to. I'm like turning around to talk to these guys, like it's you guys. But now that I think about it, you could probably get fake priests, right? Because you could be like preaching whatever you wanted from the pulpit, as long as you had like what looked like a like a holy Bible in front of you or whatever. People would take it for like gospel, and it's actually just like you making stuff up. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh oh yeah, I, sh I should let this guy know about the thing. A fine day for business, isn't it? I don't want to talk about it because I feel like anyway, what can I do? I feel for like you? business is synonymous with like sexy act, sexy time activities, and I don't want to, I don't want to talk to you about that. Uh, Isaac Rose is dead. I found the people who killed him. But that's terrible. What happened? It's Elijah and his hooligan friends. I ran him out of town. I'm glad to hear you've dealt with them. They've been causing quite a bit of trouble around You have town. armored guards! I've been consumed with other matters of late, but I would have dealt with them eventually. Uh, you're, you're, you're a coward. If you say so. It really was on my to-do list. Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. What is the point of having guards around? I met Grim, the landing pad guard. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? Yeah, they're trying to be like, because I was wondering, because I'm like, this place isn't supposed to have the board, so why does he have like a pre generated, like, you know, we have the best saltoon or what? Maybe it's just an advertising thing for them, but like, it sounded like board stuff, but I think he's trying to practice for like when people come back, kind of like from board regulated stuff to have like their own little slogan. <laughs> he's a world. He was nice, he did a bang up job. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? Uh, bye-bye. Uh, well, okay, let's try. Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. Yeah, huh? How did MSI get kicked off the board in the first place? I've asked myself the same thing many times, especially seeing as the legal mechanisms we employed were part of the board's own bylaws. Hmm... You mean you initiated your own removal from the board? Not intentionally, though that's technically true. Oh, uh, explain! For many years, this planet was home to as many corporations as Terra 2. Back then, it was known as Terra 1. <laughs> but Terra 1 and Terra 2, I see the board put their best people on that one. Really? I always thought they were refreshingly straightforward names. After all, the whole point of terraforming was to make them Earth-like. Here, though, the results were mixed. Uh -huh. And as the other corporations began to tally their losses, they decided to pull out. Uh, no guts, no glory. <laughs> but not MSI, right? Our leadership at the time certainly wanted to. And how did that work out? Most regard Monarch as a lost cause. But there were others of us who saw an opportunity. The chance to improve working hours and conditions to reform MSI from the ground up. Okay. Reforms are for quitters? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's like the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> How forward thinking of you. It's humane. Yeah, it is. But it's also good business. It is! Exhausted, sick, and malnourished workers are not productive workers. Even a cursory review of the data bears that out. All right. I hope you'd treat them nice, whether it was good business or not, Mr. Sanjar. That's what being a community means. Treating people right, because it's the right thing to do. Ms. Holcomb is our endlessly optimistic crew. <laughs> it's good for the captain's morale. For me? <laughs> what? A noble thought, Ms. Holcomb. Unfortunately, noble thoughts rarely sway board policy. 
Anyway, we learned of a loophole in the corporate bylaws that would allow MSI to claim ownership of the entire planet once the other corporations pulled ah. out. Creating the perfect environment for us to enact these new reforms. I mean, it's true, right? Like, you can have, like, data-driven, like, morality. You know what I mean? Like, you can have, like, a moral code of, like, we should do this because it's good. You know, but you can also have data-driven, look, if we don't work people to death, we'll get better work out of them, you know? Like, the two can go hand in hand, you know? Uh, who's this us and we you keep talking about? Um, using the board's own tools against them, then. Clever. That's what I thought. But the senior executives laughed in our faces and insisted we'd be relocating to Terra 2 along with everyone else. Mm, yeah, here you are. Yes, some of us stayed behind, and as the most senior executive remaining, I ended up in charge of what was left of MSI. I moved forward with our planned reforms, as well as our strategy to assume ownership of the planet. Yet not long after I renamed it Monarch, the other corporations dislodged us from the board and began an official campaign to paint us as lawless savages. Hmm. Um, that's low. Well, yeah. I don't think I realized how far they'd stoop. Everything we did was legal and above board. We followed their rules, and yet they still found reasons mm. to declare us out. Isn't it just the greatest? I do think there's something useful in a governing body like the board. Something that keeps us from anarchy, but I dearly wish it functioned differently. Interesting. So we've seen, like, the full-blown, like, corporate planet kind of stuff with, like, Edgewater. And we've seen, like... Um, I guess what can happen with, like, certain types of anarchy, you know, like, in the wilds. And Groundbreaker is supposed to be, like, kind of a... Well, they're supposed to own themselves, essentially, but the board... Like, they're supposed to be kind of neutral territory. But the board keeps making, like, inroads into there. Um, but this is the first place, I think, that, like, doesn't want to just go, like, full... At least so far, um doesn't want to go like full rogue and like you know sees some of the benefits of having a more centralized governing body like that but like they're having to realize that like even those rules put in place like it doesn't matter necessarily like the rules are what the people in power make of them you know what i mean and they can they can say yeah we're gonna do it or no we're not you know like it's 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 a very corrupt system um I don't, we didn't talk about the hazard clause. What exactly do you, why exactly do you want to go back on the board? Why wouldn't anyone? They own nearly all the resources and infrastructure in Halcyon. Without the board, chaos would overtake the system. Have you seen the system? Working within the established order isn't a principle to snub one's nose Listen, at. buddy. To be on the board is to be part of the colonial community. Or... Being cut off means slow strangulation. Just make your own. You know what I mean? Like, work with Groundbreaker more. You know, work with other more independent... Like, the Edgewater... I mean, Edgewater's kind of an independent place now, too. You know? Like, I don't know. Make a, make a go of it with what you've got. Uh... Seems to me anything's better than the corporate yoke. Mm -hmm. I fear the MSI citizens who've been dissolved into Raptodon Cud would disagree with they you. Are, they're getting eaten anyway the elsewhere. Membership on the board can ease our hardships and provide us with opportunities. Then that's the path I mean to pursue. Besides, I'm hopeful that additional leverage on our part will allow us a more uh, equitable There's what I have to do. Leverage. Don't get ahead of yourself, sir. Yes, yes, it'll be easier ah. to explain once we have the Bolt 52. Okay. My hope is to maintain the reforms we've managed here, and who knows? Perhaps once we're restored, we could spread them to other corporations. It makes sense. It's just like, it's, it's probably like a short-term loss to like implement, you know, better pay and like healthcare and all this stuff. But like in the end, like your your community will grow rather than strength. Like they keep, they, they keep losing communities out here from what I can tell that like the various like colonies out here, the corporation, the, cor the board is like slowly strangling them anyway. You know what I mean? Like even the ones that are like still technically like, you know, legal or whatever. Um, so yeah, none of it seems to be working necessarily. Like their whole idea of like pushing people to the brink and not giving them any health care or preventative care or anything, like it's killing people. 
you know, and therefore their workforce is gone and it's not productive, you know, and I don't know. Anyway. It's a legal provision that gives the board the authority to cordon off any planet or location that it deems dangerous. A necessary evil for the greater good. Why are you here? That's exactly how the board describes it. A necessary evil? It's not a necessary evil because it's being used. It's. You can't say it's a necessary evil. <laughs> You're not actually protecting anybody. They just they're just doing it willy nilly. You know what I mean? Like it's just it's just a trade embargo essentially. You sound skeptical. Monarch may be dangerous, but it's hardly the wasteland the board describes it to be. Whatever the board's goals, the greater uh -huh. good has little part. I'm at, at least you know like uh, he's not a not an idiot, right? You know, like he's he's. And he seems like a fair man. <laughs> a little odd. <laughs> a little weird. But, like, he seems fair. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? Oh, okay, I'm gonna go. Um, actually, that took up more time than I thought it would. I've seen you limping a bit. You alright, Mr. Vicar? Need us to slow down? What are you implying? I am perfectly fit. <laughs> My, uh, knee is just acting up. Uh huh. There's no shame in being older, Mr. Vicar. Don't worry. The captain and I will take care. Yeah, we will! I need neither your advice nor your pity, young lady. Oh, get off your high horse. He's such a high horse. Oh my gosh. Do you? Okay, nope. I was like, you're kind of pretty. You might have a name, but you don't. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? Okay. Uh, I do, before we go crazy, I want to get... I want to get... The... I have to get this at some point. Not right now, but I, I want to get Nioka on board, especially for this planet, because... Technically, having somebody who's like a, a local would be a really good idea to have on your squad. So I'm gonna get get her on here ASAP, and I don't know. I guess yeah, uh, in Cascadia, I think that's probably oh, Stellar Bay. Let's actually do nope. Okay, that's not the one. I was hoping. Oh, maybe 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 maybe. Aha. Okay, we'll do that next time. All right, so we'll buy the Parvati's thing over there and then maybe run out and get that one. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I would like to get uh, Neoka as soon as possible because it's smart. Just, you know, if it was real. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it very much. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one.